Hello, hello everyone and welcome to the stream. Once again, after a long hiatus, I think it's been about five months since we've done an AI battle, it is finally time for us to do another one. We have, hello Kingsley, hello Star, hello Joy. I know Bob will be joining us a little bit later, he's at work right now. But yes, welcome. Uh, it's muted, what's muted? I don't think it was muted, I'm pretty sure it was good. Okay. But anyway, welcome. I'm so glad to have you guys here. We have an amazing tournament laid out for you guys with some new rules I'll go over in a second here. But yeah, so I'm going to jump over to this screen before I unmute Discord. I'm going to go over some of the basic rules that you'll be seeing. And actually, I probably should unmute Discord because Lauren's here. So you're going to see her on screen in a second here. Surprise, man. And there she <laughs> is. Hello. Hello, one and all. Now, most importantly, I do not have music yet, so I need you guys to help. As we prepare no. to start, what type of music do we want? Let's get some, I guess, some epic music. Do instrumentals. Get some instrumentals. This is some break core? I don't even know what break core is. Met I'm not freaking doing metal. I'll just have this playing in the background for now. But anyway, yes, welcome to the AI battles. Glad to have you all here. We're going to reveal our contestants here in a moment. But to give you guys a glimpse as to what we are going to do this time as opposed to others, or some of you as your very first one, behold our double elimination bracket. Oh, yeah. You guys can't see some of the names because I'm in the way, but you know what? That's fine. They're going to come as a surprise. It keeps a little bit of the spoiling out of the way. Hello, Meta! Hey, hey, what's up, Meta? How are you doing today? But anyway, so the way it works is in a double elimination bracket, these four runs, which you can only see two of right here. You see Star the Duck? He's up here. But these four will go, and then the winners will move all the way down here. But if you lose here, you're not done. You drop down to here. And then in the end, the winner of these brackets fights the winner of the top bracket. So if you're out, you're not out. There's still another chance for you. And if you've been for previous AI battles, you have known that we used to have some wheels. We used to have like a random modifier wheel, a location wheel, a voice wheel. We had so many wheels. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome the ultimate simplified customized wheel. The AI narration wheel. This wheel will determine who the AI is speaking as, your location, as well as unique modifiers, all built into one. You'll find out what each one does as we spin it and we get to it. And unlike previous AI battles, they have fully different prompts made from scratch. So it's not going to sound like, oh, they only have a little bit of a change. They're going to have entirely different vocabulary and entirely different personalities, depending on who you land to narrate your battle. Wow! Now, for the base level, <laughs> this is how the tournaments are run. Uh, let's see, Meta's not saying, I'm pretty sure those are... Uh, everyone is OC except for a single person that John submitted. That's the only yep. OC, not OC. So get, I'm going to have to find like an actually official printed t-shirt if he ends up winning. But we'll get to that in a moment. So how does this work, you may ask, if you are. So the way it works is we're going to put your two people into here. We're going to tell ChatGBT what it's supposed to sound like, who the contestants are, uh, what their abilities are. I typed that all out in a nice simplified version. Uh, we're going to hit enter. And at the end, it's going to give a nice descriptive narration. And at the very end of it, it's going to say who won. That's it. That person wins that round. Now, again, even if you're out the first round, you are not out. You just jump down to the lower bracket. And then once you're in the lower bracket, if you manage to lose the first fight, you can fight your way all the way up to the finals for a chance to win. Yep. Now, for the final little bit of information for you guys, the prizes. So since this is part one of three, the way prizing works... Let me turn down the music because it's bad. The winner of tonight's AI battle, the person who comes in first, will get $5. They'll get a temporary role in Discord for, while the season lasts. They will get their character as a temporary sticker in the Discord while the season lasts. And they will also get the opportunity so for when the finale comes in May, you will be able to choose the location your first fight is in. So that's a big, yep. big deal. Because the way this whole thing is laid out, uh, Thank you, Meta. This stream today and the AI battle is going to happen in April. The top four, not just top 
one, the top four people in each of those streams moves on to the finale round in May. And the winner of the finale round gets a permanent role in the Discord, gets their character as a permanent emoji in the Discord, as well as either a custom t-shirt or mug with your character's image on it. Or if you do live overseas and that's a little bit too hard, we can talk and work things out. Like for example, Star wants us to get a giant inflatable duck and have it be in the background of our streams. Oh my gosh. <laughs> also, hello, Gaming Warrior. But so yeah, that's how this works. A smaller prize for winning this one today, but you get a massive boost in the finale that will be in May. And again, top four people make it to that finale in May. And even if you lose today, you can again submit your character in the AI battle next month for yet another chance to make it into the May finale. But for today, I think it's time we begin. Don't you agree? Yes. Uh, you I need do. to pull up your list of people. Uh. I've sent you the link, remember? Yeah. No, no in your email, remember? Oh. All right. Are we ready to begin our first fight? This music's so... This is not epic music. What is this? It's some actual epic music. It's some battle music. Can Star the Duck watch Star the Duck fight? <laughs> I'm not... I don't think we have Star the Duck out because we have been packed. I think he is packed away for our next house. Why are these all so... You're right, why? Okay, this thing is horrible at searching for, like, upbeat music. <laughs> A stream panel. A stream panel would be fun. That would be fun. <laughs> Alright, let's just do workout topic. Sure. Workout? That, that... I am not exercising. Cringe. Oh, good enough. Alright, ev everyone. To reveal the first fight. To start us off on this tournament. Oh, I didn't hit the start tournament button. We have Ash the Trash Knight versus Star the Duck. Okay, well, Star the Duck is right here. And remember, even if your character loses, you just bump down to the lower bracket. You're not out of this tournament yet. So I'm going to transition over to a scene where you just see Lauren in chat as she oh, reads God. things because I couldn't get her uh, screen to pull up. But here you go. I'm going to be typing some things while she talks about who these contestants are. Hello. Um, and yes, exercise is... Wait, wait, wait. I forgot. How dare I? Ah, ah. I made a mistake. I'm still getting used to this. It's been so long. We didn't spin the wheel. How dare you? Ladies and gentlemen, let us see who will be narrating this wonderful fight. <laughs> We're going to start off with I. Oh, <gasps> yes. I'm so happy about that. Ladies and gentlemen, there's also custom sound effects for the wheel now. Um, <laughs> I. If you don't know who I is, oh, you'll find out. Now it's back to Lauren. Okay, he said Star the Duck and... Okay, Ash the Trash Knight. I have Star the Ducks already pulled up. All right. Star the Duck is by our one and only Star of Track. And the weapons and skills is a Sonic Quack and Star the Duck. I choose. <laughs> That's adorable. I love that. His description, Star the Duck is an all-seeing being the size of a star and as hot as plasma. He has a sonic quack that disables all electronics and stuns its foes. He, has, he, has, he also has the ability to summon Arceus with his ability, Star the Duck, I choose you to eliminate all foes. Love. Ten out of ten. <laughs> what quack? <laughs> okay, and who was the other one? Ash, Ash the, the Trash Knight, Knight yes. Ash the Trash Knight by Gaming Warrior. Hey. Okay, so weapons and skills. He uses his broom to sweep anything in his path. If anything still stands, he he bashes his enemies with the force of a billion light years for a special ability. He summons five mice robots to attack his enemies. And when they are defeated, they self-destruct, creating a huge black hole. Oh my goodness. All right, we ready? In the description. Oh, there's more. Sorry, my bad. Formerly known as Ash the Trash Knight is a fairy tale knight protect protect protection protect the era of once upon a brawl. He used to be a very honorable knight until he d discovered his best friend in all of fantasy, the Almighty Trash, and now he protects the land 
of mystics as the last guardian of the mighty knights who once used to roam across Gallic. These are really creative. I love this. All right, and would you like to see your contestants? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the duck. Beautiful. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, the trash knight. That was so sick. <laughs> Looks like a paladin. Here are your contenders. <laughs> Good luck to all. This music is really not the vibe I wanted. I wanted like an epic fight. Wait, I have a fight playlist saved. I was going to say, don't you have one? All right, here we go, everyone. Aw, oh, yeah. All right. <clears throat> this is I. He is a caveman. In the land of roars, where big dino roamed, two fighters stood tall. Gar, the duck, mighty and bright, made of plasma, summoning Arceus. Why did he say it like that? Ready to fight. Ash, the trash knight, broom in hand, with robotic mice, ready to expand. Ooh. They face each other, eyes locked tight, waiting for the moment to start the fight. <laughs> the crowd cheers yeah. loud, the ground shakes hard, as the battle begins, no holds barred. He's rhyming. Thor lets <laughs> out a quack, sonic and strong. Ash swings his broom fast and long. The mice start in, explode with might, but Star the duck shines so bright. Archeus joins in, fiery and fierce, but Ash the knight won't show no fear. He swings and strikes with all his might, trying to win this epic fight. But Star the Duck ain't going down, quacking and blasting all around. The crowd gets wild, the tension's high. Who will win this battle? Who will fly? But wait, what's wait. this? A sudden twist. Ash the Knight lands a hit. Can this be it? But hold your breath, don't count out Star the Duck, for he's not far. With one last quack, a blast so grand, he sends Ash the Duck Knight to the land. And so the winner, the champion is Star the Duck. In the land of dinos where legends are made and heroes reign till the end of time again and again. Congratulations, Star. You won the, ra the first round. But keep in mind. Yeah, if you Game look Boy, you're not out yet. So I'm blocking it, but if you can't, I'm not sure if I can move it. If you look right here, you're not out yet, Gaming Warrior. Yep, you're still in it. You're just going to be in the loser's bracket, but you have a chance to win still. Uh, I don't know why this caveman started rhyming. He did not rhyme at all in any of my tests. But yeah. No, last time we did AI battle with um. No, but in the test today. Oh, test today. All right, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Your next warriors. Sun Wukong. Kong. This says Kaleidoscope. I didn't type that here. It's Sun Moon Kong Kaleidoscope and Dr. Doofensmirch. Real quick, let us spin the wheel to see who shall be narrating this one. Lauren will be narrating this one as Tabitha. Oh, no. Oh, yes, they have a tagline. I forgot to show you. Uh, uh, who, who's there? Aliens? 5G? The mushroom people? That should give you a hint as to what Tabitha sounds like. How am I going to read it when it's on your screen? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, actually, you can see stream. You have stream. Hold up. I can't read it. It's too, it's too blurry. Well, man, I don't, I'm, I'll send it to you on Discord, I guess. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm over to Lauren while I type. Yippee. All right. So, Sun Wukong, Kaleidoscope. That is Bob's character. I do not know how, know how to pronounce your Discord name, Bob. I'm very sorry. Um, he uses Diminish, his bare yeah. fist. Oh, my God. He uses his bare fist and incredible strength to fight his opponent. He needs no weapons. He needs no magic. His kaleidoscope has the power to let him see things weirdly. <laughs> Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope is a monkey king created from the four basic elements in infinite craft. After failing to score any points during infinite, infinite craft tournament, he has come for revenge. Watch out for this colitis wielding monkey has incredible strength for supernatural po super natural powers and Taoist training. All right, that sounds awesome. All right, on to the next one. What is the other one? Uh, it was Dr. Doofensmirch. You don't have to read the whole description. Okay. Oh, they're both speaking. What do you mean? The people. Wait, never mind. They're not speaking. Okay. Uh, let me 
go this page. Bring it to you on Discord. Sure do. Got it. Why am I not? Oh, there. That's what it saved you to read, so have fun. All right, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. It is by John. Um, and the weapons and skills. Any in nature that can do anything and smarts and a robot son. And we all love and know Dr. Doofenshmirtz. All right, ready? I sent it to you on Discord. Pull it up so you can read it with the chat. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is a novel. I'll, I'll read the descriptions for you. Okay? Let me just... Oh. I'll, open the, I'll read the descriptions. The scene opens in a makeshift arena in the heart of Kansas. Surrounded by barren fields and ominous clouds looming over him. Tabitha, a nervous announcer, stands in the center, clutching her microphone with trembling hands. L ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most unusual showdown you'll ever witness. Here in the middle of nowhere, we've got Sun Wukong Colitis facing Your off against... Your mic's coming out a lot. <clears throat> That's better. There we go. Okay. You want me to just redo it? Yeah, go ahead. Ladies and, oh, sorry. L ladies and gentlemen, w welcome to the most unusual showdown you'll ever witness. Here in the middle of nowhere, we've got Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope facing off against Dr. Doofenshmirtz. It's a clash of titans that has me shaking in my boots. But hey, let's dive right in. Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope. The arena. Towering figure, exuding raw power. His kaleidoscope glints ominously in the dim light, casting strange patterns across the ground. And here he comes, the formidable Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope. He's got the strength of a hundred men and a kaleidoscope that, that, oh, I can't even begin to understand what that does, but watch out, folks. Dr. Doofenshmirtz strides confidently into the arena, a smirk playing across his lips as he brandishes an array of bizarre gadgets and gizmo. And, and now his, his opponent, the in, ingenious Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Don't let his quirky demeanor fool you, folks. This man's brain is like a maze of traps and, and doohickey. What kind of a nature will he bring to the fight? The tension mounts as the two adversaries face each other, each sizing up the other with wary eyes. Suddenly, without warning, Dr. Doofenshmirtz unleashes a barrage of gadgets, each one more absurd than the last. Oh no, folks! Dr. Doofenshmirtz is wasting no time barting Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope with a barrage of... of... I, I don't even know what these things are. But our Monkey King seems unfazed, dodging and weaving with remarkable agility. Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope retaliates with a mighty swing of his staff, sending shockwaves rippling through the air. But Dr. Doofenshmirtz is quick to counter, deploying a contraption that emits a blinding flash of light. Uh, are my eyes deceiving me? Dr. Doofenshmirtz has unleashed a blinding flash. Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope is struggling to see through the chaos. But wait, what's this? He uses Kaleidoscope to... Oh, I can't even describe what this happened. As the battle rages on, Tabitha's nerves are pushed to a breaking point. She paces back and forth, muttering to herself about the government conspiracies and alien invasions. I, I can't take much more of this. The, the tension is unbearable. What if the government is watching us right now? What if aliens are about to descend upon us? Oh, why oh, did I agree to enlist this fight? Just when it seems like the battle could go either way. Sudden twist of fate turns aside. Dr. Doofus, moment of overconfidence, activates his latest invention, only for it to backfire spectacularly. Oh no! Oh, no. Dr. Doofus' first latest innator has malfunctioned. The area is engulfed in chaos as sparks fly and machinery sputters, and, and I, I can't look at this. I can't. <laughs> this could be the end for him. But as the smoke clears, it becomes apparent that Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope has emerged victorious, his kaleidoscope glinting triumphantly in the fading light. It, it's over, folks! Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope has emerged victorious! I, I, I can't believe it! What a battle! What a spectacle! I, I, I think I need to lie down. With a shaky voice, Tabitha announces the winner one final time while collapsing in a heat of nerves and relief. The winner, Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope. The, that's all for tonight, folks. I, I, I need to go far, far away from here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner, Sun Wukong. That means in the loser's bracket, Doofenshmirtz will fight Ash the Trash Knight for a chance to stay in this tournament. Well done, everyone. Our next battle, we have 
Rustilian versus the shrimp. Oh. And ladies and gentlemen, who will be narrating this momentous battle? We've got Sir <laughs> Thomas the Third. Oh Lord. Okay, you said Rustilian and shrimp. In his tagline, indeed, a jolly good choice. Mm. <laughs> All right. Over to you. So, we have the sh none other. The shrimp is the words. Make sure you say who's submitted by it. I am. I've been. Um, let me see. Okay. In here we have the shrimp made by our lovely joy. All right, and the weapons and skills. Electricity spark. Electricity sparks that come out of its little mini leg things. <laughs> all the, pa the all powerful band hammer and a 30 plus to charisma. <laughs> I think I can actually do this while you're talking about it. Oh, my bad. Guys, I'm so sorry. I forgot to show the last images. How? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, this was Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope. Beautiful. I forgot to show that. I apologize to Bob who will watch this later. I'm sorry. Here is your Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope. And, uh,. <laughs> Yeah, you know yeah. different smarts. And yeah. while she's talking about the shrimp, you can keep talking. I'll pull it up. All right. Uh, so legend has it there is a shrimp that haunts the mountains of refuge, coming out every 100 years to annihilate whoever the chosen one is that century. Beware. All right. And you said... We'll be good, Kingsley. Rustily. Yes. Now for the next one. All right, Rustilian is by Kingsley Lovingstone. Alrighty, his weapons and skills, Prismal Staff. Born with the power to bend mana, more so just slightly dent it. <laughs> Rustilian was always in time for adventure, be it defeating a lowly slime or a cat with the power of a god. <laughs> Guess which one he can't take. <laughs> He's always there to try and help whoever, whenever, and however while growing stronger along the way. Kingsley, congratulations for the 100th message. Right when your person's up. Well done. And lady, hang on. I mean, that we are good here. I think I hit, forgot to hit send. Did my character go down yet? You're not up yet, but get out of voice chat. Okay, goodbye, just double check. <laughs> oh dang, that's a crazy star. Thankfully, this is much more small production. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Gather around, gather around. Time for the Clash of the Titans. A spectacle of sheer brutality right here in the heart of London. I, Sir Thomas III, your esteemed announcer, bid you welcome to this glorious event, where the stench of coffee is nowhere to be found, thank the heavens. In one corner, we have the electrifying force of nature, the shrimp. It's the mutative yet formidable creature is armed with the power of lightning, capable of frying his opponents quicker than a barista can whip out a latte. And fear not, good people, for he despises coffee just as much as I do. And in the other corner, we have Rastidian, a man of mystery wielding the prismal staff. With the ability to bend mana to his will, he is a force to be reckoned with. A veritable storm of arcane power, and I am quite certain he doesn't indulge in that vile bean water either. The tension in the air is palpable, pal 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 my friends, as these two adversaries eye each other with a mixture of anticipation and animosity. Ah, what's this? The shrimp makes the first move, darting forward with a flurry of cackling electricity, sending sparks flying like freshly brewed espresso gone horribly wrong. But Rastilian is not the one to be caught off guard. With a swift motion of his staff, he summons a shimmering barrier of mana, deflecting the shrimp's assault with ease. Oh, the drama, the suspense. It's enough to make one forget all about the foul aroma of coffee wafting through the air. Almost. Is the music still going? It ended. Good thing I hit the restart button. Now it's Rastilian's turn to retaliate. He does so with a dazzling display of arcane prowess. Handling the very essence of magic itself, he unleashes a torrent of mana-infused energy, sending shockwaves rippling through the arena like the ripples in a pond, disturbed by a drop of... disturbed by a drop cup of... well, you know what. But wait, 
What is this? The shrimp isn't out of the fight just yet. With a swift flick of his tail, he evades Rastelian's onslaught and retaliates with a surge of lightning that illuminates the sky like a bolt of... Oh, you get the idea. And so the battle rages on, each contestant pushing themselves to the limits of their power, each blow struck with the force of a thousand... Um, let's say they're hitting each other really hard. But who will emerge victorious from the Clash of Champions, this epic showdown of supernatural strength? Oh, my dear audience, I can hardly contain my excitement, and the winner is Rastillion. With a final devastating blast of mana field energy, he overwhelms the shrimp, sending him spiraling to defeat. Oh, what a glorious victory for our anti-coffee champion. As for the shrimp, well, let's just say he'll be needing a strong cup of tea to soothe his wounded pride after that. Oh, I'm thank so you, Meta. Sorry, I shrinky. appreciate that. Yeah, Meta, that was really sweet. But yes, you beat the shrimp. But don't worry, the shrimp is not done yet. The shrimp has a chance to win against these next two. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Duff Puffin, the magical muffin, and Bimble, the oh. brave and the beautiful. The bold and beautiful. Bold and beautiful. Get it right. My bad. Let me jump over here while you're talking, and I do typing, and then we'll show off pictures. Wait, oh, oh, no, I've got to spin. Oh, it's Bim. I keep forgetting. Bim. Yes, it's Bimbo. <laughs> X finally defeated. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we'll have Paladin be joining us. Yes! I'm so happy about that one. He has noises very loud, but Paladin will be joining us. Over to you, Lauren, while I type at the speed of the light. Alrighty, Alrighty let's do this. Bimbo the Bold and Beautiful. Brought to you by... Jade Slayer, Isaac. Boss. Awesome. All right, their weapons and skills, a large forehead that he hits people with. <laughs> All right, and the description is a human that looks like a shriveled up raisin with a massive forehead. And he's wearing a toga. <laughs> uh, could you pause there just for a moment so I can show a picture? Yeah. Almost done typing, and then I can switch over scenes and show a picture. Uh, uh, Please. Pull up this picture for you all to see Bimbo. Behold. There you go. All right, next one. All right, and what was it? Huh? Uh, Duff Puffin. Duff Puffin. Puffin, the magical muffin. Which, first of all, very cute name. Second of all, it is named none other than Zap. And the weapons and skills can make parts of its body any flavor in the universe, including pain. Also very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> After living in a bakery for at least 17 hours, Duff saw its friend, the gingerbread man, murder the baker, escape the bakery, and win an AI battle. So after a few months of scheming, it has come to follow in the gingerbread man's footsteps and avenge all his fa fallen muffin brethren. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here are your contestants. Duff Puffin, the magical muffin, and Bimbo, the bold and beautiful. Who will oh win? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, knights and maidens, welcome to the Grand Arena of Canada, where the Clash of the Titans <laughs> is about to commence. Brought to you by our sponsors, the Mighty Mallet, providing the finest smithing tools for all your armor needs. Uh, in Frothy's Ferocious Ale, the drink of choice for champions. In one corner, we have the mighty Bimbo, the bold and beautiful, standing tall with his trusty forehead, ready to bash his way to victory. Sponsored by Forehead Frenzy, the premier headbutting academy, and Titan Togas for all your fashionable toga needs. And in the other corner, <laughs> we have the enigmatic Duff Puffin, the magical muffin, armed with his flavor changing powers that can turn pain into a delectable experience. Sponsored by Muffin Magic, where every bite is a magical journey, in flavors of fury for those who dare taste the spice of battle. Hello, Zap. Welcome. You joined just in time. The crowd roars with anticipation as the fighters take their stance. Bimbo charges forward, his forehead gleaming in the sunlight, aiming for a powerful strike. But wait, Duff Puffin swiftly dodges encounters with a burst of cinnamon-flavored pain, sending Bimbo <laughs> staggering backwards. But Bimbo is not one to be deterred so easily. With a roar that shakes the very foundations of the arena, he charges once more, swinging his mighty forehead with all his might. Sponsored by Head-On Collision, when you need to make an impact and forehead, forehead fortitude for the strongest brows in the land. Duff Puffin dances nimbly out of reach, his muffin body shimmering with arcane energy as he prepares his next move. Suddenly, he unleashes a barrage of flavor-infused attacks, each strike a tantalizing mix of sweet and savory. 
sponsored by the taste of triumph uh for where victory is as delicious as satisfying and, and sweet suffering for those who crave the pain of defeat a bimbo is not without his own tricks with a battle cry that echoes through the ages he charges once more his forehead glowing with determination this time he unleashes a devastating combo of headbutts and forehead smashes each blow sending shockwaves through the arena Sponsored by Forehead Fury, the ultimate in cranial combat, in Bimbo's Brawn, for when you need a little extra muscle. The crowd holds its breath as the two warriors clash in a fury of blows, each one more ferocious than the last. But in the end, it is Bimbo the Bold and Beautiful who emerges victorious, his mighty forehead shining for the glory of battle. Sponsored by Forehead Finale, where every fight ends in a triumph. Bimbo's brilliance for the brightest star in the arena. Bimbo wins, Bimbo but do not worry about it, Zap. You still have a chance to fight the shrimp and win. Yeah. So after round one, here are our standings. Uh, my, my character's thing's blocking a little bit. We have Star the Duck and Sun Wu Kong and Rastilian and Bimbo, who are still in the winner's bracket. And in the loser's bracket, we have Ash the Trash Knight, Dr. Doofensmirch, the Shrimp, and Duff Puffin. Don't worry, if you have lost, you still have a chance to win it in the loser's bracket. Are we ready to begin, Lauren? Yes. Let us start in the loser's bracket to see who moves on. No, you All have right. a chance to win the shirt. Yes, you still do. If you win the loser's bracket, and even if you do lose this one, next month you can submit your character again for a chance to get into top four. Yeah, so you still have a chance. You have multiple chances. A lot of chances to make it. All right, let's see here. All right, are we ready to begin? Yes. Who am I doing first? She said... Uh, let's do loser's bracket round one. Which is? Ladies and gentlemen, we have Ash the Trash Knight and Dr. Doofensmirch. Now, keep in mind, these are the battles where if you lose the second time, you are out. Now, again, keep in mind, that doesn't mean you can't win the grand prize in May. You can submit your character again if they get out next month. April, whatever the last Saturday is in April, will be the next AI tournament. So don't worry if you get out, you still have another chance. All right, Lauren, what are you? Oh, I forgot right. again. I am on oh, a yeah, roll. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm on such a roll here today. Ladies and gentlemen, your narrator will be Captain Scully. Oh, Lord. That is Lauren's character. <laughs> That's a weird oh, noise. Dude. I never actually heard that. Uh, and the hint is, are we going to find who rules these seas? Yeah. Over to you. Alright, so we have Ash the Trash Knight. By Gaming Warrior. Don't question it, Joy. <laughs> and he, so for weapons and skills, he uses room to sweep anything in his path. If anything still stands, he bashes his enemies with a force of a billion light years for a special ability. He summons five nice robots to attack his enemies. And where they, when they are defeated, they self-destruct, creating a huge black hole. Formerly known as Ash the Trash Knight, is a fairy tale knight protect, protecting the era. You don't have to read the whole thing again. Well, I'm, I'm ready. I'm just... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's shorter okay. after the first. Time. Okay, and then Doctor Do by John, and his weapons and skills: any innator that can do anything, and smarts in a robot son. Yes, and as a reminder, here are your fighters. We have Ash. And we have Doof and Smirch. Lauren will be narrating this one. So actually, if you give me a moment so I can send her the whole thing. Okay, let me send Lauren this so she can read it. Okay, Lauren, I'm sending it to you now. Press the wrong button. Yes, I did. Okay, all right. All right, ready to go when you all right. are. All for, yours. Forgive, forgive me for my terrible pirate axe. Ahoy there, me hearties. Welcome aboard the old ship of chaos and mayhem. I be Captain Scully, your announcer for this epic brawl about to unfold on these treacherous seas. In one corner, we've got Ash the Trash Knight. A fearsome warrior, with naught but a broomstick in hand, wielding it like a true pirate's cutlet. 
And let's not forget his trusty band of robotic mice, ready to scurry into battle and blow up any scallywag who dares cross their path. And in the other corner, we got the mad scientist himself, Dr. Doofenshmirtz, arg, with his arsenal of wacky invention and inventions ending in Innator. He's sure to bring some serious trouble in the high seas tonight. The crowd's going wild with anticipation, the tension is thick as a pirate stew. These two salty dogs eye each other up, ready to make the first move. Ah, but wait. It looks like Dr. Doofenshmirtz is reaching into his coat pocket. What's this? He's pulling out his latest creation, the Fish Fry Inator. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Fish Fry Inator. <clears throat> That's right, folks. He's aiming to turn Ash into a crispy catch of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! I would I would run. But hold on to your peg legs, me hearties. Ash is Ash ain't taking this line down with a hearty roar. He charges forward, broomstick a swinging. The trash knight's making waves as he deflects the frishy onslaught, sending sparks flying. But wait! There's the sneaky move from Doctor Doofenshmirtz. He's deploying his squid napper in the door. Aiming to snatch Rat <laughs> Ash right off his feet and into the brainy deep. Ash can dodge this tentacle trap or will he f be fish food for Davy Jones's locker? By Blackbeard's beard. It's a close call. Ash narrowly avoids the grasp of squid squidnapper in Ator, dodging and weaving like a true swashbuckler. But the battle ain't over yet to be hearties. With a wicked grin, Dr. Doofenshmirtz unleashes his final gambit the Storm Summoner in Ator. A tempest brews overhead as lightning crackles and waves churn ferociously. Will Ash weather this perfect storm, or will he be swallowed by the raging sea? Uh oh, here we a are. Vasty. <laughs> a vasty for the winner be Ash the Trash Knight. Woo! With a mighty sweep of his broom, he sends Dr. Doofenshmirtz flying overboard, his innator sinking to the depths below. Victory for the Trash Knight and a round of grog for all. Huzzah! Well done, Gaming Warrior. You move on to the next fight in the loser's bracket. I'm sorry, John. If When you do watch this, do not worry. You could enter in next month's tournament for a chance to get top four. Don't you worry. But well done. Oh, that hurt my voice. Did it? I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Congratulations, Gaming Warrior. You did win. Well done, Everett. Well done, well done, well done. Our next fight in the losers bracket: the shrimp and Duff Puffin. All right, here me, we go. Let's spin the wheel. <laughs> Making some good headway. Good job on the voice. I like. Thank you, I tried. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we got Jeb. Uh, oh yes, I love how Jeb. How guys? Let's do this. <laughs> uh, we got a Southern cowboy coming up. All right, over to you. All righty. The Shrimp. Made by none other than our amazing Joy. Right. All right, the Shrimp. The weapon and skill. Electricity that sparks... Uh, sorry, electricity sparks that come out of its many little leg things. The all-powerful band hammer and the plus 32 charisma. And then we have... What, who was the other one? Uh, the other one was... Uh, what did I just said? Duff Puffin. Duff, Duff Puffin, okay. Make sure to show the picture. Yes, I got it. Yep. Okay. Just type in, type in, type. Okay. All right. Let's see. Juff Puffin, the magical muffin, made by Zap. He can make parts of its body any flavor in the universe, including pain. Also, is very tasty. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your contenders again. <laughs> Get a nice, good look at them. Beautiful. Here are the two that'll be fighting. We have the shrimp and <laughs> Duff Puffin, the magical muffin. <clears throat> Are you ready to begin? Yes. Oh, the scene opens inside a bustling Danny's restaurant, with tables hastily cleared to make way for the makeshift fighting ring. Jeb, the announcer. Is my mic picking up? Oh, it's a little bit quiet. Let me try it up. There we go. Jeb, the announcer, uh, stands in the center. Wearing a plaid shirt with rolled up sleeves, a cowboy hat, and a belt buckle the size of Texas. Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the showdown at the Danny's Corral. I'm Jeb. You've got. Oh, I can't do it to this music. Where's some country music? Hold up.
<laughs> That's more like it. Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the showdown at Danny's Corral. I'm Jeb, your guide through this brawl in the heart of good old countryside. We've got ourselves a showdown between two mighty contenders, the shrimp and Duff Puffin the magical muffin. Let me tell y'all folks, ain't nothing more country than a shrimp with electric powers and a muffin that can flavor up a storm. <laughs> the crowd roars with excitement as the shrimp and Duff Puffin strut into the ring, ready to throw down. Now let's see how this tussle unfolds. The shrimp, he's crackling with electricity, dancing around the ring like a lightning bug in July. But don't count out Duff Puffin, folks. He's mixing up his flavors, ready to dish out some pain in every single bite. The shrimp charges forward, sending arcs of electricity crackling through the air. Duff Puff encounters with a flurry of punches, each blow landing with a burst of flavor. woo Looks like we got ourselves a spicy showdown here, folks. The shrimp ain't holding back, zapping and zipping around the ring like a tornado on the prairie. But hold on to your hats, because Duff Puff ain't taking this line down. The battle rages on, with the shrimp and Duff Puff trading blows and dodges in a whirlwind of action. The crowd leans in, the edge of their seats, and the fighters refuse to give an inch. Now ain't this a sight to behold, folks. Two titans of taste and power, dunk duking it out in the heart of the country. Who's going to come out on top? Will it be the shrimp frying up the competition with electric moves? Or will it be Duff Puffin, mixing up flavors and pain to serve up another win on the silver platter? Just when it seems one fighter might have the upper hand, the other counters with a surprising move, keeping the match neck and neck. Hold on to your boots, folks. The hits here showdown ain't over yet. It's a class of country titans, a brawl for the ages. Who's going to take home the bacon and who's going to be left eating dust? With one final electrifying surge, the shrimp just delivers a shocking blow that sends Duff Puff in reeling, unable to recover. Well, paint my truck and call me surprised. The shrimp reigns supreme in this here Danny's showdown. He's the shrimp with a stamp of victory, electrifying the competition and clamming the title of championship of the countryside. The crowd erupts into cheers as the shrimp celebrates his hard fought victory, proving once again the heart of the country, anything can happen. As for Duff Puffin, well he may have lost the battle, but you can bet he'll be baking up a storm for the next round. And just with that, Congratulations! Let's go! The shrimp moves on to fight, who knows, the loser of this next two fights. Congratulations, Joy! Gaming Warrior and Joy, you're still in it for the chance to win it. You guys aren't out. You may have been knocked down once, but you still got a chance to fight your way up. Okay, can't do the same more. No more country. Bro. Oh, my mom's allergic to shrimp, too. You're allergic to bread? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back to the winner's brackets. These people have won their first fight. And again, if you lose this fight, you do not lose. You just go down to fight those two winners we just saw. Ladies and gentlemen, our first winner's bracket fight number two. Star the Duck and Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope. We have our very own Bob versus our very own Star. Over to you. Alrighty. Oh, Wait, Wheel, you. my gosh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> to be fair, we haven't done this in a minute. I know, it's so. been a while. Paladin's returning. Hey. Oh yeah, his tagline is, I will gladly accept donations. I thought it was going to be the Captain Skull again. I was like, uh-oh, there goes my voice. A Paladin is returning. Over to you. All right. So you said Star the Duck and Kaleidoscope. Yep. All right. Star the Duck is by uh, our one and only Star. And the weapons and skills, Sonic Quack and Star the Duck, I choose you. All right. And then Bim nope, that's that's the wrong person. Sun Wu Kong Kaleidos by Bob. He uses his bare fists and incredible strength to fight his opponents. He needs no weapons, he needs no magic. Kaleidoscope has the power to let him see things weirdly. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We're gonna scroll up so we can't see the end. <laughs> <laughs> As we take a look at our fighters again, so you guys get a little glimpse. Here we are. Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope and Star the Duck. We're ready to begin.
Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I wait for music to start. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round and behold the spectacle of the century. Here, in the great white north of Canada, we witness a clash of titans like none other. Sponsored by Drake's Quastastic Quackers, the <laughs> finest duck feed this side of the North Pole. And brought to you by Sunburst Spectacles, where every view is as bright as the sun itself. Tonight, we have the colossal star of the duck facing off against the abominable Sun Moon Kong Kaleidoscope. It's a battle that'll make your heart race faster than a supercharged engine. Put down a little bit. As the competitors size each other up, the crowd holds its breath in anticipation. Star the Duck, an immense avian entity forged of plasma, radiates with an otherworldly glow. But don't let that serene exterior fool you with a quack that can shatter mountains, courtesy of Quacktastic Quackers and the power to summon Arceus himself. This foul means business. On the other hand, on the other side of the ring stands Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope. Sponsored by Bananas Unlimited, the ripest and juiciest bananas this side of the Silk Road. And wielding a kaleidoscope that twists reality itself. His muscles ripple with the strength of a thousand warriors, and his eyes gleam with the cunning of a true king. The tension mounts as the battle begins. Star the Duck lets out a thunderous quack, sending shockwaves rippling through the arena. But Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope is no stranger to adverser, adver, adversity. With a swift flip and a dazzling display of acrobatics, he avoids the sonic blast, courtesy of Sunburst Spectacles, and lands a mighty blow with his staff powered by the finest bamboo from Bananas Unlimited. But wait. <laughs> Just when it seems Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope has gained the upper hand, Star the Duck unleashes its ultimate move, with a brilliant flash of light, Arceus descends from the heavens, ready to unleash his divine wrath upon the Monkey King. Can Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope withstand the celestial assault? In a stunning display of agility, Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope evades Arceus' onslaught, using his kaleidoscope to anticipate its every move. With a mighty roar, he charges forward, determined to seize victory from the jaws of defeat. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, in a final cinematic clash. Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope delivers a devastating blow, sending Star the Duck crashing to the ground. Oh, the crowd snap. erupts into cheers as Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope emerges victorious. Congratulations, His triumph, a testament to the strength, skill, and power of his sponsors. So raise your glasses, dear spectators, to the valiant victor sponsored by Bananas Unlimited and Sunburst Spectacles. And remember, folks. In the world of epic battles and mythical creatures, anything is possible when you've got the right sponsors by your side. Don't worry, Star is not out. Star has just moved on to the bottom bracket. Is, you're still in this? Star. Don't worry, Star duck's not out yet. The duck fights the shrimp. Oh, oh yes! That's gonna be an intense that, that's fight. That's gonna be a good one. It, Star the duck versus the shrimp. <laughs> Also, as a reminder for the prizes, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's prize for winning this tournament is a, just $5. You get a title on Discord and the sticker in Discord. But you also get to choose a location for the first fight in the massive finale that will be taking place in May. Which is a huge advantage. If, you're, like, if your character is like Star the Duck, if Star the Duck wins, he can pick space because he knows he can breathe in space. But for now, we move on. To the final fight of this winner's bracket, Rastilian and Bimbo. Let's spin the wheel to see here who we have coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, the narrator is Zargeth. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Zargeth. Yes, I am human. Why are you asking? Over to you. All right. You said Bimbo and Rastillion, correct? Indeed. All right. Bimbo the Bold and Beautiful by Jade Slayer or Isaac. And his weapons and skills, a large forehead that he hits. Reminds me of like that bonk. All right. And Rastillion. Rastillion by Kingsley. His weapons, uh, he has a prismal staff, and yeah, 
over All to right. you. All right, let's show off our contenders again. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Bimbo the Bold and the Beautiful. And ladies and gentlemen, here is Rustilian. <laughs> we have the man with the big forehead and the man who can bend magic. It's going to be very interesting. Oh, oh, yes, yeah. we have Mr. Big Head versus Gandalf, practically. Yes. <laughs> Let us begin. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the Martian Arena, where stars shine even in the daylight. Gather around, my friends, as we witness the Clash of Titans. A spectacle beyond compare. In one corner, we have the fearless Bimbo the Bold and Beautiful, a tiny man with a toga larger than life, itself armed with a truly massive forehead, ready to bash and crash his way to victory. And in the other corner, we have Rastilian, a master of mana manipulation, wielding his powerful prismal staff with grace and finesse. Who will emerge triumphant in this cosmic showdown? Only the sands of Mars shall reveal the answer. The crowd roars with anticipation as the combatants... Hello. Nice to see you. Hello. The crowd How's roars with anticipation as the combatants take their stances. Bimbo the bold and beautiful charges forward with a thunderous roar. His toga billowing in the Martian breeze. He swings his colossal forehead like a battering ram, aiming for Rastilian's defenses with uncanny precision. But Rastilian is no ordinary foe. With a click of his wrist, he summons a shimmering barrier of mana, deflecting Bimbo's onslaught with ease. The audience gasps in amazement as the two warriors engage in a mesmerizing dance of strength and magic. Suddenly, just as it seemed, Bimbo gained the upper hand. A strange glitch is taking over the arena. Might flicker. Screens glitch and a message from the Martian government flashes across the holographic displays. Attention. Unauthorized mana surge detected. Initiating protocol Delta 7. Evacuate the area immediately. The crowd erupts into panic as fire alarms blaze throughout the arena. But amidst the chaos, Bimbo and Rastilian stand firm, their eyes locked in a fierce determination. With a defiant roar, Bimbo charges once more, his forehead gleaming with determination. Rastilian counters with a dazzling display of mana manipulation, weaving intricate patterns into the air with his staff. The battle rages on, each combatant pushing themselves to the limit in a bid for victory. The ground trembles beneath their feet as blows are exchanged with relentless ferocity, and just when it seems like one fighter gains the upper hand, the other counters with a move of unparalleled skill. <laughs> But just as the dust settles and the echoes of the battle fade, there can only be one victor. With a final earth-shattering blow, Bimbo the Bold and Beautiful emerges triumphant. Wow. His forehead raised high in victory. The crowd erupts into cheers as Bimbo is declared the champion of the Majin Arena. His name echoing on the red sands of Mars for all eternity. And thank you, Gaming Warrior. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm sorry, that. Kingsley, his forehead was too strong. I'm so sorry, Kingsley. But don't worry, you're going to fight Ash the Trash Knight in the loser's <laughs> bracket for a chance to move on. Oh, you're still in this. All right, as it stands, as we move on, we're getting closer to our finale. The winner's bracket, one of these two will make it to the finale. We have Sung Woon Kong and Bimbo. In the loser's bracket, one of these people will also make it to the finale. Rustilian, Ash, Dar the Duck, and the Shrimp. The two only one to do a unauthorized mana use. What? Well, I'm sorry, Kingsley. It, it, it's not my fault that he uses illegal mana on Mars. Like, I didn't make that rule. All I told the AI was, like, something happens, and it decided that mana is illegal. <laughs> All right, Lauren, are we ready for the next round of Losers Brackets? Oh, uh, yeah. Who is it? Uh, Rustilian is back already. Oh, oh, already with already Ash the Trash Knight, yes. All right. Rustilian. I'm going as fast as I can. It's gonna take me. Oh wait, it didn't spin the wheel. Dag nab it again. What's up? All right, here we go. Let's spin that wheel. We got Eugene. Ladies and gentlemen, it would appear as though I have been selected for this such occasion. <laughs> now, actually, over to you. If I can actually switch the screen. Alrighty. Rustilian, you know him, you love him, my Kingsley. And he has a prismal staff. Alright, and the next one is Ash, right? Yes. Yes. Ash the Trash. You know him, you love him, my gaming warrior. 
And his well weapons and skills he uses a broom to sweep anything in his path. If anything still stands, he bashes his enemies with the force of a billion light years. Be cool. All right, and once again, I'm going to show off your. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Bye. All right, let Bye. us show you your tournament people again for this one. Once again, Rustilian is back. And Ash the Trash Knight, here we are, your two people. Um, as a reminder, just again, if you do lose this, uh, though you did, you're not in this tournament anymore, you can re-enter in April for a chance to win the grand prize. The grand prize will be in May. So you can enter your people again in the tournament in April to keep that chance. But here we go. Let me make sure I have those photos out of the way or else it's going <clears> to... <throat> Ladies and gentlemen, sapiens of the highest order, esteemed by bipedals and logopedals alike, welcome to the most prestigious event in intellectual pogalism. I screwed myself up by letting him use all the big words. <laughs> Within the howled halls of erudition, where the pursuit of knowledge intertwines with the art of combat, where we witness a clash of titans that shall resound through the annals in time. In this corner, adorned in armor forged from the refuge of knowledge, we have Ash the Trash Knight, wielding his broom of erud... That word. <laughs> with unparalleled vigor. Behold, as he brandishes his implement of cleanliness, poised to sweep away any and all adversaries who dare challenge his supremacy. And in the opposing corner, immensing an aura of arcane mastery that reverberates through the very fabric of the cosmos, stands Rastilian. The wielder of the prismal staff, who manipulates mana with the finesse of a virtuoso conductor. <laughs> Witness as he conjures ethereal energies, weaving spells of unfathomable complexity, ready to ensnare Hello. his foe with the labyrinthine web of sorcery. As the battle commences, Ash the Trash Knight charges forth with a thunderous sweep of his broom, the arcane energies crackling around him as Rastilian counters with a death manipulation of mana, erecting a shimmering barrier of protection. The clash of forces sends shockwaves throughout the stacks, causing tomes to tremble upon their shelves in anticipation of the spectacle unfolding before them. As the battle commenced, I already did that. But lo and behold, from the shadows, the robotic mice scurry forth, the metallic forms glinting in the dim light of the library, a formidable legion of automatons ready to enact their explosive vengeance upon the adversaries of their master. Will Rustilian be able to withstand this mechanized onslaught? Or shall he succumb to the relentless tide of metallic fury? With a swift spell, Rastilian conjures forth a tempest of mana, ensuring the robotic mice with a maelstrom of arcane energies. Sparks fly as circuits overload and gears grind to a halt. But the battle is far from over as Ash the Trash Knight presses his advantage, closing in with a fury of sweeping strikes that threaten to overwhelm the mystical foe. But wait, in a display of unparalleled cunning, Rastilian unleashes a torrent of prismatic energy, refracting the very essence of Ash's attacks, turning his own momentum against him with a devastating effect. The broom of Erugian, uh, Erugian shatters upon impact, leaving Ash momentarily stunned and vulnerable to the final decisive blow. And so with a flourish of a prismal staff, Rastilian channels the culmination of his arcane prowess into a single resplendent burst of mana, enveloping Ash the Trash Knight in a cascade of ethereal brilliance. The library falls silent, save for the triumphant echo of Rastilian's victory. As he emerges wow. victorious from the crucible of combat, his supremacy unchallenged within these hallowed halls of knowledge. Wow, congratulations, Kingsley. Good fight. Good job. Great fight. In Gaming War, I'm sorry, but keep in mind, you can enter in next month for a chance to get in. Yep. Also, just so everyone knows, whoever wins this next fight, you have the four people who are moving on to the finale. Oh. So Sun Wukong, Bimbo, and Rustilian have all now been confirmed to be going to the tournament in May. Yep. Now, the winner of the tournament will get to choose the location for their first fight for that massive tournament. But those three people and the winner of this next fight are confirmed to be in the May tournament for a chance okay, to so win. Okay, so what are the three confirmed right now that are going into next fight? Sun Wukong, next... Bimbo the Brave and the Beautiful, and Rustilian. Congratulations Bob, to all three of you. Bob, Isaac, and Kingsley are all moving in 
to the fight in May. The one that's okay. worth all of the money and the big prize and the permanent role and everything. But now we have Star the Duck versus the Shrimp. I'm, I'm so excited about this fight. You have no idea. <laughs> one of the, either the duck or the shrimp will move on to the finale in May. And the other one will have to try their luck again next month. Are we ready to spin the wheel? Excuse me. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be narrating this again. <laughs> yes, me say word. You should do the um, who voice for that. He came on, came on, talk like this. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm about to jump over to you while I type. Alrighty. The star of mallard. I have no idea what kind of duck is 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 star the duck. Star. Oh, All he's right. the yellow rubber duck I have, so whatever duck that is. Okay. All right. Star the duck by Star of Track. And he uses Sonic Quack and Star the duck I choose you. And then we have the shrimp by Joy. And electricity sparks. Ele electricity. Ele wow, I can't speak today. Electric sparks that come out of its little mini like. The all-powerful band hammer and a 30 uh, plus 32 charisma. All right, ready? Sir. In the ancient times, when big lizards roam, there is a fight to be seen. In one corner, we got Star the Duck, a big old duck made of fire, can't move, but got quack that shakes ground and can summon Arceus. In the other corner, we got the shrimp, a tiny shrimp with that powers, a band hammer and mega charm. <laughs> the crowd roars as the fight begins. The shrimp be skipping round, zapping here and there, trying to zap Star. But Star, he stands tall, the fire burning bright. He quacks, sending shockwaves, making the shrimp jump and dodge. But, oh, the shrimp ain't done yet. The shrimp pulls out the band hammer, swinging it round, trying to land hit. Star, he tries to summon Archeus, but the shrimp is too fast, dodging and weaving. It's as a back and forth, like a dance between giants. The crowd be on edge of their seats, wondering who be taking the win. But wait, what's this? Star, he's quacking louder, summoning Arceus, the big old dino. Arceus stomps in, roaring louder, shaking the arena. The shrimp, he be looking small now. Face to face with the beast, but the shrimp ain't one to back down. He zaps, he dodges, swinging his dub and hammer with all his might. But then a moment of stillness, the dust settles, the crowd hushes. Who be standing, who be falling? It is Star, the big old duck made of fire. Wow. He be quacking loud, claiming the win. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Congratulations, Star. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your four that are making it into the tournament in May. We now have to determine who wins the smaller prize and the massive advantage in that May tournament. Sun Wukong, Bimbo, Rastillion, and Star. So we have Star, Kingsley, Bob, and Isaac, who all are guaranteed for a chance to win the massive prize in May. All four of you, congratulations on making it. So even if you don't win here, you are 100% in the tournament in May. Congratulations, Joy, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, Joy, the shrimp can come back in April. Yes, yes. You can bring the shrimp You can back. modify the shrimp, make it stronger, bring it back. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna play this loser's bracket here before we go on to this bracket, because this is going to turn one of the finalists. So we have Rastillion and Star the Duck. Let's spin the wheel. Lauren, that means there's a chance we have to have a giant inflatable duck in our backdrop. I am perfectly fine with that. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Oh, it's Tabitha I, I, again. Oh, oh okay. All right, the conspiracy the theorist. And who? Bimbo? No. It is Star the Duck. Rastillion. And Rustilian. Now, keep in mind, both of you are going to be in the thing for May. So even if you lose here, it's not the end. But if you win here, you have a chance to win that $5 prize, that huge advantage, and that temporary role in the Discord for the next three months. So there's still some stuff on the line here. Over to you. All right. Star the Duck by Star. He has a Sonic Quack and Star the Duck, I choose you. To Rustilian. Go as fast as I can. By Kingsley. And he has a prism staff. Yeah. Talk a little bit more. I'm typing. I am so excited. 
for this battle. Congratulations to all who have won so far. You you are in the one. Well, it's, yeah, Star, you're in the one in. Is it April? Uh, May. May. April's the the one. Who so since you won this one, the April one. If you won this, you can't enter the April one too. Or else you'd have two chances to win in May and want to keep it even. And we want to let some more people in since typically these host 16 people, but this time it was only eight because it's double elimination. So the one in April, if you've won this and you're already in the one in May, sadly you can't submit another character. But by getting in these top four, that means you are guaranteed a spot in the finale for a chance to win the massive prize. Yeah. It's just the next one will be for four new people and four returning people or whoever ends up being. So we give a few more people a chance to come in because I know some... There's a couple people that tried to submit last minute that couldn't submit that wanted to. Yeah, so Gaming Warrior and... Uh, Joy, you guys can still resubmit for April. Yep, so John, Gaming Warrior, Joy, and Zap. Yeah. You all can submit. Alright, send me the... You ready? Yeah, send, send Oh yeah, me. this is yours, my bad. One second, I forgot Lauren needs this. Yeah, so basically what's happening with it, to explain it in the most simple terms, the top four people here go on to the finale. That's it. The finale's in May. If you are in the top four, which again is Sung Wong Kong, Bimbo, Rustilian, and Star, if you're in the top four, you, do, you don't submit into next month just because there's two parts. So four from this tournament, four from April's tournament, all go together and they get sent to the May tournament where there's eight people too. Yeah, the, the April tournament is the big finale, yes. I'm drinking water. Let me send this to Lauren. Or do we modify? No, it, I think it's, isn't it just characters? So it is these characters. There's no modifications to them. These are the ones that won. These are the ones that go. So that's, again, one last time just to make sure everyone gets it. Uh, these four people. Next month for the April one, sadly, you guys will not have a character in there. But at the same time, you're already guaranteed a slot for the big tournament in May. Already set. And but everyone who lost up to this point, which is, again, it's going to be Joy, John, Zap, and Gaming Warrior. You guys can submit your person next month for a chance to make it to that May tournament. All right, Lauren, it's all up to you. I'll do the narration again because she always says narration for some reason. <laughs> Oh, because of the cup? No, no, no. It's just a plastic cup because our dishes are packed. Yeah. Scene opens with Tabitha standing nervously in front of a makeshift spring set up in the middle of the Kansas Plains. The sky is ominously dark, adding to her sense of dread. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most peculiar showdown you'll ever witness. I'm your host, Tabitha, and I must admit I'm feeling quite uneasy about this whole affair. But fear not, as we're about to witness a clash of titans, perhaps something even more... As Tabitha speaks, the ground trembles slightly, causing her to jump. Ahem. In the left corner, we have an id Enigmatic. Enigm Thank you, I can't, can't walk today. Star the Duck, a massive creature made of plasma. But don't let its appearance fool you folks. Star possesses a sonic quack that can rupture eardrums, and rumor has it, it can even summon Archeus. The audience gasps as they peer at the motionless duck glowing ominously. That is horrifying. <laughs> In the right corner, we have Rustilian, a mysterious figure wielding the power of mana with his prismal staff. His abilities to bend mana at or to his will are unparalleled, and who knows what tricks he Your mic's kind of. Just as Tabitha finishes her introduction, a flash of lightning illuminates the sky, momentarily blinding her. Oh my star! Is that a sign? Is something. Or someone trying to intervene? I I must keep my composure. The fight begins with Rastilian conjuring swirling orbs of mana, hurling them towards Star the Duck. But before they make contact, Star lets out a deafening quack, causing the orbs to displace within dissipate within the air. Incredible! Star's sonic abilities are proving to be quite the defense mechanism against Rastilian's mana's attack. But wait, what's this? As Tabitha speaks, a low hum fills the air sending shivers down her spine. No, no, it can't be. That, is that the sound of 5G frequencies? Are the, are the government and their conspiracies trying to sabotage this match? 
Despite her fears, the battle rages on. Rostilian charges forward, staff crackling with energy while Star retaliates with a burst of plasma energy. The tension in the air is palpable, as spectators watch in awe and trepidation. Oh, the suspense is unbearable! But was Rostilian's mastery over mana overpower Star's plasma and might? Or will the duck's on a crack quack prove to be its ultimate weapon? I can hardly- before Tabitha can finish her sentence, a sudden gust of wind blows dust and debris across the ring, obscuring, obscuring her view. Oh no, oh no, not again! What's happening now? Is this the work of aliens? Despite the chaos, the battle rages on, each combatant refusing to yield. Finally, after what feels like an eternity, a victor emerges. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I can hardly believe my eyes! It seems... Seems that Rostilian has emerged victory victorious with a final dazzling display of mana manipulation. He has subdued Star the Duck. The crowd erupts into cheers and applause as Tabitha exhales a breath she didn't realize she'd been holding. Uh, well, 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 there you have it, folks. Rostilian has proven himself the champion of this bizarre showdown in the heart of Kansas. But who knows what other dangers lurk in the shadows, waiting to strike. Until next time, stay vigilant and watch the sky. With a nervous smile, Tabitha signs off, eager to escape the eerie atmosphere of the plains. And with that, Brastillion has won two in a row and is moving on. Deeply. And Duck, or Duck, gosh. <laughs> but the Duck has made it to the finale in May, so yeah, you still have yeah. that chance to have that freaking massive inflatable Duck be in our backdrop. It won't That'd be this be so backdrop because it'll be in a different house, but it'll be in our backdrop. We'll be in our backdrop. You still have that shot. But sadly, the shot at getting the advantage for that round has been passed. As Rustilian moves in to the top of loser's bracket, will he be fighting someone for the chance to enter the finale? It'd be funny if it's if Rustilian and Bimbo again. <laughs> but we go on to the semifinals where the winner of this round instantly moves on to the finale. Where we have Sun Wukong Kong and Bimbo. Alrighty, spin that wheel. Sounds good. <laughs> We've done pull out in so many times. I want someone else, please. Well, I'm gonna respin. This is my respin because Paladin's been in the spotlight three times already. Dargeth is returning. Dargeth. <laughs> All right, over to you. Why I type? Alrighty. Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope by Bob. Uses his bare fists and incredible strength to fight his opponents. He needs no weapons, no magic, and his kaleidoscope has the power to let him see things weirdly. Now over to. It's gonna take me a minute. I accidentally copied the wrong thing. <laughs> what was it? Uh, Bill Bimbo. Bimbo. Alrighty, Bimbo by Jade Slayer or Isaac. Bimbo the bold and beautiful, a large forehead that he hits people with. He just freaking bonks up. How does he? How does he like? I'm surprised he hasn't passed out, but not gonna lie. All right, Star, I hope you have a, um, a wonderful night. And yes, your son did uh, did very good. <laughs> he fought valiantly. He did. Get some sleep, Star. And I was looking forward to seeing Star in the tournament in May. Yeah. Also, as a reminder, before I go, this is the last stream before we move. So next week, oh, shit, we'll yeah. have no streams before we lose everyone. So as a reminder, next week, we'll have no streams. Our next stream will be Monday, April 8th will be my stream again. Because we are moving next week, we have no streams next week. I will miss you all, but we do yes. have to move everything. And we got to focus on getting everything out of here so that we can move into the other place and start streaming. But again, yeah. we'll be back on April 8th. Yep. And good night, Star. All right. Are we ready? Oh, yeah. As we approach the end, here we go. Zargeth, the robot alien announcer, floats above the Martian arena, his metallic voice echoing through the stadium. Greetings, bipedal beings and assorted life forms. Welcome to the ultimate showdown in the crimson sands of Mars. Today we witness an epic clash between two titans of combat prowess. In one corner, we have Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope, the Monkey King whose strength is matched only by Kaleidoscope visions dancing in his eyes. Okay. And in the other corner, <laughs> we have Bimbo the Bold and the Beautiful, 
A diminutive warrior with a colossal forehead ready to bash his way to victory. As the combatants take their positions, the crowd roars with anticipation. Martian sky casting an eerie glow over the arena. Round one begins! <laughs> Sun Wukong Kong charges forward with lightning speed, his kaleidoscope eyes gleaming with anticipation. But Bimbo is not to be underestimated. With a swift dodge, he evades Sun Wukong Kong's initial onslaught, his toga fluttering in the Martian breeze. Again, with a mighty oh war, roar, Sun Wukong Kong unleashes a fury of punches, each strike sending shockwaves throughout the arena. But Bimbo is no stranger to adversity. With a death maneuver, he counters with a headbutt aiming for Sun Wukong Kong's kaleidoscope. Oh, the tension is palpable. Just as the combatants seem evenly matched, a glitch interrupts Zargath's commentary. A message from the government flashes across the holographic oh, display. No. Error. Government message incoming. Attention all inhabitants of Mars. The Intergalactic Council reminds you to adhere to interplanetary regulations to refrain from unauthorized combat activities. Violators will be subject to severe penalties. Error. Government message ends. <clears throat> With the distraction subsided, the battle resumes with renewed ferocity. <laughs> <clears throat> the legend the government was saying is like, screw it, we punch harder. Yeah. Round two commences. Sung Moon Call summons his celestial staff. Its gleaming surface reflecting the Martian sun and whirls it with breathtaking speed. Bimbo, undeterred, charges forward his massive forehead leading the charge. A clash of metal and bone reverberates throughout the arena as combatants engage in a fierce exchange. But wait, what is this? Sung Wung Kong unleashes a dazzling display of acrobatics, flipping and twirling through the air with unmatched grace. Bimbo struggles to keep up, his toga billowing behind him like a tattered flag in a Martian storm. The crowd holds its breath, unsure of what fate awaits their beloved champions. Suddenly, as if guided by some unforeseen force, Sung Wung Kong lands a decisive blow, sending Bimbo sprawling across the Martian oh. sands. Victory goes to Sung Woo Kong Kaleidoscope! The Monkey King reigns supreme in this epic battle of might and magic! What a spectacle! What a triumph! Until next time, dear spectators, may your battles be as legendary as those witnessed today on the Red Sands of Mars! The echoes of the battle still ringing in the air. Zargath's metallic form fades into the Martian horizon, leaving behind the memories of a clash that will be spoken of for eons to come. Congratulations, Bob's Bob. not even here to see it. He's going to come in in about 10 minutes and see he's in the finale. Right? But that's not it. Bimbo is not done. But he has another chance to make it into the finale, where he faces off against the champion of the loser's bracket, Rustilian. Where Bimbo and Rustilian go head-to-head to, head to take oh on boy. Sun Wukong. Kong. Will we have Bimbo come back from the grave as another chance to smite Sun Wukong, Kong? Or will Rustilian? who went all the way from losing to Bimbo last round, actually managed to beat Bimbo this time and show him big foreheads don't equal victory. <laughs> this is a this repeat is a battle. The last time Bimbo won. But can Rustilian pull through this time? Who will be narrating? Oh, boy. Tabitha's already been used three, like, more times. Why not someone who's only been used once? I'll try to get a one-time use, like the knight. Or, not paladin. Eye's already been used twice. You know what? Let me do this. No, let's... Make it so it's unlikely we get the ones we've already gotten before. I should have been doing that from the start, actually. What? Won't let me? Just keep spinning. Just Whatever. keep spinning. I want someone who's we've only had once or twice. Actually, once. Jeb! We got Jeb once. We'll do Jeb again. There we go. Oh, no. That means I have to go freaking... Country. Rating matchmaking. <laughs> Rigged. All right. All right. We have Bimbo the Bold and Beautiful. Brought to you by Jade Slayer Isaac, a large forehead that he hits people with. A bonky. And Rustilian by Kingsley. And he has a prismal staff. Uh, talk more about more your accent that. partner. <laughs> this has been a very amazing AI battle so far. I'm very curious as to who will win this. 
go. Y'all ready? That. Yeah, sure. So All sure ready. The scene opens inside of Denny's makeshift arena with a worn out checkered floor. The scent of greasy fries lingering in the air as Jeb, sporting a trucker hat and worn out flannel, stands in the center holding the mic. Howdy, old Jeb here, coming to you live from the heart of America, where the grit meets the gravy. We got ourselves a showdown tonight between the two titans of the diner, Bimbo, the bold and the beautiful, and Rustillian, the man abandoned maestro. The crowd, a mix of truckers and regulars, holler and cheer as the combatants take their places. Now, folks, let me tell you something. There ain't no love lost between these two. Bimbo, with his noggin the size of a Dodge Ram grill, ain't afraid to use that melon of his to bash in a few skulls. And Rustillian, well, he's got that staff of his. Channeling mana like it's the diesel in a Ford F-150. Do you like... How about That's now? better. The fighters lock eyes, tension crackling like bacon on a hot skillet. Bimbo twirls his toga like a lasso while Rustillian taps his staff against the floor, sparks flying. And here we go, folks. Bimbo charges like a bull with a bug up his tailpipe, swinging that forehead of his like a wrecking ball. Well, oh, wait on, hold your horses. Rustillian ain't no pushover. He dodges and weaves, summoning man like a tornado brewing on the prairie. The crowd leans in. Bree is held like a tightrope over a canyon. Bimbo's forehead connects with a table, leaving a dent as Rustillian twirls his staff, sending a wave of energy towards his opponent. Mercy me, folks, Bimbo takes a hit, but if he's standing looking more determined than a hound on a coon trail. He charges again, this time ducking under Rustillian's staff, grabbing hold of his leg like a cowboy wrangling a steer. The crowd erupts in cheers as the fighters grapple. Fresh new tables, airs like a tornado, through a trailer park. Plates shatter, pancakes fly, but neither combatant gives me. It's a showdown for the ages, folks. Bimbo's forehead meets Rustillian staff, clashing like the thunder on a stormy night. Yep. But wait, hold on, what's this? Rustillian's eyes light up like a Christmas tree, channeling mana through his staff like a bolt of lightning. The tension mounts as Rustillian unleashes the blast energy, sending Bimbo flying across the diner like a rag doll. The crowd falls silent, anticipation hanging in the air like a thick fog. There you have it, folks. Rustillian takes the win with a wow. mana-fueled wallop that'll echo through the annals of Denny's history. Give it up for our champion. champion. The crowd erupts into cheers and applause as Rustillian stands victorious, his staff crackling with energy. Jeb tips his hat, a grin spreading across his face like a sunrise over the heartland. That's all she wrote, folks. Till another day in the land of pancakes and pickup trucks. Till next time, keep a country and keep on trucking. Congratulations, Kingsley. From a <laughs> loss to Bimbo to conquering Bimbo, he faces off against Sun Wu Kong in the ultimate finale. This is the finale. Bimbo and. Wait, who? Rustillian and Sun Wu Kong, right? Yes. Now, Bob, you guys, Bob. I'll let you guys pick who you guys want to narrate this. Who would you guys like to narrate this final fight to determine the winner between Bob and Kingsley? <laughs> between Rostilian and Sung Wu Kong. Who would you like to narrate it of the people you've seen today? <laughs> you, one vote for Tabitha? Uh, we got, as a reminder of who we got, we have Jeb, he's the cowboy. Captain Scully, that was the pirate. Paladin, the sponsorship man. I, the caveman. Eugene, the overly big word using jerkish person. Tabitha, the skeptic conspiracy theorist. Zargeth, the totally human alien. And Sir Thomas III, the super proudish British guy that hates coffee. Any other votes? I'm giving it a minute just to see if people say anything. Or else Tabitha will win. <clears throat> My voice is shot. Good yeah, we lord. We got Tabitha and Sir Thomas so far. Tabitha and Sir Thomas, okay. I can just keep the people in who will get voted in. So if it's not voted. Oh, okay, Sir, Sir Thomas? Thomas. Alright, the proper British man who hates coffee. And as I type up this final one now, as a reminder, um, 
This final one, let's just go over this real quick to make sure everyone's on the same page with you. As a reminder, we have all four of these people have made it to the finale in May. So Star, Kingsley, Isaac, and Bob, you all have made it to the finale in May, no matter who wins this next fight. This next fight, the winner of this particular round will get $5 or something equivalent to $5. You'll get a temporary role in the Discord while the season lasts, and your characters are as an emoji while the season lasts. So those two, you'll have the title and the art until the finale at the end of May where the winner gets those. And you get an And the $5 or something equivalent to $5 or something like that. If Again, if you can't, if there's no way to send you money, we can figure something out. You can roll message each other and figure out a conclusion. And the advantage to pick. Yes, and then the big one is the first fight. Your first fight in the tournament in May. You get to pick where you start. So like for here, maybe you pick a mana-ridden battlefield if Rastillion wins filled with mana to give him an advantage. Maybe Sung Woon Kong picks a monkey filled with jungles. No, a jungle full of monkeys. A monkey filled with jungles? Oh no! A jungle filled with monkeys. So maybe she has some henchmen that help him. It's a big advantage for your chance to win the massive around $30 prize. And the permanent roll and the permanent emoji. Yep. But as we enter, you ready, Lauren? Over to you. All right. Rastillion. Kingsley. He has a prismal staff. I really like the prismal staff like thing. I have a really, I have a picture in my head of what it looked like. And it's really pretty. All right, and then we have Sun Wukong by Bob. And he uses his bare fist and incredible strength to fight his opponents. He needs no weapons, no magic, just his kaleidoscope. And that kaleidoscope has the power to let him see things weirdly. All right, making sure we're all good here. Sir. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, you did not make it, John. I'm sorry. But don't worry, John. You'll be able to enter in next month. So next yep. month's tournament, you can send Doofus Merch in again, and he has a chance to win. Uh, because you're not... There's another chance to get into the May tournament if you win next month. We're so coming top four next month. But ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Your finale between Sun Wung Kong Kaleidoscope and Rustillion. Are we ready to begin? Sir. Oh Bob. oh, Bob, you are in the finale. Bob, you are you are in the finale. It's about to start narrating. You have fought your way. You ha you didn't even touch the loser's bracket. Yes, you're in the finals. Yeah. yeah. Versus Rastillion, who lost and then came back. You were fighting Kingsley. Yeah, so you, Isaac, Kingsley, and Star have made it into the um, battle, AI battle in April? April, right? No, no, for May. For May, for May. April is the second part of this tournament, but it, May is the finale. So, all, so again, Bob, Star, Kingsley, and Isaac, you are in the May tournament. You made it to the final one worth $30 in permanent rolls and permanent things. This tournament, to get the advantage for the May tournament, $5, a temporary roll, and a temporary sticker, has come down to Sung Woon Kong and Rustillion. What is a bracket? Uh, I do not know what a bracket reset is. Well, right now, it's Bob versus King. And here we go. The final fight. I get into my British accent. So ahoy, you rebel of London. I say ahoy. I don't know. This is the right guy. Gather round, gather round. Well, today... We witness a class of titans, a spectacle of might and magic that shall leave you breathless. Why is he talking like he's a pirate? Or whatever. He's talking like a Courtney Brit. I guess he's become this now, all right? <laughs> but first, let me remind you once again for the sake of decency. The coffee is a vile brew fit only for the dregs of society. But now let the battle commence. In one corner, we've got the ferocious Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope, a monkey king of unparalleled strength. His kaleidoscope gaze twists reality itself, turning the battlefield into a dizzying whirlwind of chaos. But beware for his opponent should not only face his brawn, but the bewildering visions of his kaleidoscope conjures. I hate this voice. <laughs> I love it. No, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> In the other corner stands Drastidian, a man with a prismal staff that wields the very essence of mana. 
With each swing of his staff, he bends the arcane energies to his will, unleashing devastating spells upon his foes. But can his mastery over magic withstand the primal fury of the Monkey King? The tension hangs thick in the air as the combatants size each other up, their eyes burning with determination. Feng Wukong kaleidoscope leaks forward with a thunderous roar, his fist trailing arcs of power as he aims a mighty blow at Rastillion. But the conjuring mage is not so easily bested, weaving intricate patterns with his staff to deflect the onslaught. What was this? Rastillion counters with a barrage of arcane missiles, each one crackling with raw mana. Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope dances nimbly through the onslaught, his kaleidoscope gaze allowing him to anticipate the trajectories of spells with uncanny precision. But even he cannot evade them all, and the force of the impact sends him crashing to the ground. As the dust settles, both combatants rise once more, their resolve unbroken. Sung Wukong Kaleidoscope charges forward, his fists blur of motion as he rains blows upon Rustilian. But the wily mage is ready this time, summoning a shimmering barrier of mana to shield himself from the onslaught. But wait. wait! Just when it seems victory is within his grasp, Rastillion unleashes his ultimate technique. With the flourish of his staff, he channels a torrent of pure mana directly into a kaleidoscope itself, distorting its visions beyond recognition. Then Wukong staggers back, disoriented and vulnerable, as Rastillion prepares to deliver the finishing blow. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Rastillion emerges victorious, wow. his mastery over magic proving too much for the Monkey King. Let it be known throughout the land, Rastillion is the champion of this day's battle, his skill and cunning unmatched. And as for coffee, well, let's just say I told you so. <laughs> Congratulations, Kingsley. It's not you over. Have won. Oh. So in double elimination, someone Kong was never eliminated. So he still has his second fight. That's why there's a slot here. Wait, wait, what? what? Rastillion has pushed him to the final fight. The final fight of this bracket. This is now the final fight. Because remember, Sun Moon Kong did not lose a single fight. <laughs> he didn't drop down to loser's bracket. No, he didn't. He has his f second life. Oh, shoot. Can Rustilian pull it off again? Oh, well, yes, then there's a bracket reset. <laughs> oh, that's what that is. <laughs> Don't worry, you have a chance. Wow. But Ezra, well, since he never lost, he still has his second fight, just like you did. And you took your second, Rastillion took his second fight all the way to the finish. Now we got to give Sun Wukong a chance to try to do the same. That is insane. It is. And I think, who do, who do we want to narrate this? Who would you like to narrate this final, final, final fight? <laughs> you activated his trap card. Or do we just spin for it? We can spin for it. It is up to you. Remember, Sir Thomas, Jeb, Captain Scully, Paladin, I, Eugene, Tabitha, and Zargath. Uh, Tabitha. Alright, this time for sure. Alright, I think we're gonna probably do Tabitha then, since we just did the British guy. Alright, Tabitha it is. Alright, that means Lauren's gonna be speaking for this one. <laughs> Lauren's gonna be announcing our finals. Remember to send me... Yes, uh, give me one second. I can actually just copy paste this, so that saves me time. This is the same people, so it should take me half the time. But you're on screen, so. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, hi. All right, final battle. Who's it gonna be? All right, almost done. Give me one second. I am. Uh, one vote for Caveman, two. Tabitha, I think, wins, sadly. What? It's not Caveman, I think Tabitha wins. Tabitha wins? Yeah, you're doing it, remember? Oh, yeah. All right. Yes. Let me generate it, then I'll send it to you. She's extra dramatic. <laughs> oh, there's no, there's no, um, my guy in there. It's just your guy. What? Yep. That's, that's interesting. This time, there's no voice in her head. Oh, no. She's actually sane for one fight. Oh, man. Here you go. And let me pull up the scene as we approach Move the finale. This. Move this over here. And move. All right. <clears throat> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the most anticipated fight in the heart of Kansas, where the cornfields whisper secrets as the wind carries the echoes of the ancient battle. I'm your, I'm your announcer, Tabitha, trembling in excitement, or maybe just trembling. <laughs> Our contenders today 
or the formidable Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope, whose strength is matched only by his ma mystical kaleidoscope vision, and Rastillion, the enigmat- en Enigmatic. Enigmatic <laughs> wielder of the pr prismal staff, capable of bending mana to his will. Before we del delve into this action, I must remind you to s stay vigilant. Who knows what lurks beyond the horizon? Government agents? <laughs> Alien abductors? 5G signals? I don't know, but I'm... As the battle commences, Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope charges forward with the speed of a thunderclap. His kaleidoscope eyes scanning the battlefield for any hidden threat. Rastillion, cool and composed, brandishes his prismal staff, manipulating the very fabric of mana around him. The tension in the air is palpable. Heightened by my own paranoia about the unknown forces conspiring against me. <laughs> but she wait. is dramatic. She is, I love it. Just as Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope is about to land a devastating blow, a strange shimmering distortion envelops Rastillion, causing him to face out of existence momentarily. Whoa. Could this be the work of Candlestine government technology? Clandestine. Okay. <laughs> or perhaps an alien, an alien intervention? I can hardly contain my panic as the crowd grasps gasp in disbelief. As Rastillion appears behind Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope, he unleashes a barrage of mana-infused strikes, each blow resonating with the power of a thousand storms. Thousand. Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope, caught off guard by his unexpected turn of events, unexpected. struggles to defend himself against the onslaught. Is this the end for our va valiant Is this the king? end? Or will he find a way to turn the tide? The tide. With a pr primal roar, Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope taps into the depths of his inner strength. His inner strength. And a whirlwind of fur furious attack. Furious. The the kaleidoscope vision grants him an uncanny insight into uncanny Rastillion's insight. movement, allowing him to anticipate and counter each strike with surgical precision. precision. The crowd erupts into cheers, but I can't shake the feeling that something sinister can just be on the show. As the battle rages on, both combatants push themselves to the brink of exhaustion, their very moves shrouded in mystery and in intrigue. Suddenly, a blinding flash of light engulfs the arena, momentary blinding everyone present. When the dust settles, only one figure stands victorious amongst the chaos, and the winner is Sun Wukong Kaleidoscope! Bob! With unparalleled, unparalleled strength and kaleidoscope vision that defines comprehension, he emerges triumphant against all odds, but as the crowd celebrates his victory, I can't help wonder. Your mic's cut out, you didn't hear any of that. I can't help but wonder what other dangers lie in wait. Ready to pounce when least. Until, Until next, next time, time, stay safe, my friends. Remember, the truth is out there, and it's terrifying. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your champion for the first <laughs> round of the refreshed AI battle unchanged, Bob, has won. As a reminder, Bob, that means you get a $5 or equal prize, a temporary role in Discord, your sticker of Sun Wong Kong in Discord temporarily, as well as in the first battle in May for the massive $30 prize, you get to pick the location of the first fight. That can be a huge advantage. So think about that. Think about where you want Sun Wong Kong to fight in. Of one, Joy. But good job, Kingsley, coming in second. Again, you still made it to the tournament in May. You had a chance to win that $30 prize in May. Don't you worry about it. Again, we have Isaac, Star, Bob and Kingsley, all of you guys made it for the chance to win in May to get the rest of the stuff. Yep. But anyway, congratulations. And for the people who didn't, which is John, Joy, uh, Zap, and Gaming Warrior, don't worry. Make sure you submit your person next month. There will be the second part to this for you, you four have a chance to come in and join the thing in May again. So you four aren't done yet. Just submit next month. April's tournament. I'll post that one probably sometime in mid-April. And, and you have a chance to still win the big prize. And Noah, thank you again for letting me co-host with you. I'm very of honored. Of course. Glad very, to have you co-hosting with me. It's been very fun. I love this. This is so freaking fun. <laughs> uh, I didn't make an ending video yet. That's something I was going to do, but I ran out of time. Let me just pull up the picture nice and big so everyone can gaze upon his glory. There is your champion. Congratulations, This will Bob. become a Discord sticker temporarily. Yep. And you'll get a temporary Discord title. And your temporary titles and the temporary sticker will last until the finale end of May. So you'll have the title and sticker till the end of May. And then if you win the one in May, it's permanent. Yep. But anyway, that is it for tonight. This was the tournament. I know it's a little bit shorter than our regular streams, but that was just the nature of this tournament. 
as a reminder to everyone again next week there will be no streams as yep. lauren and i are moving so from monday to saturday next week no streams the next stream will be monday april what is that april 8th Right. Monday, April 8th at 7 p.m. will be the next stream. Yep, we will see you then, and we will probably be in voice chat here and there, so we'll talk to you all, hopefully, and yeah. Thank you, guys, for letting me be a part of this as well, and I enjoyed it. All right, let me jump over here. And again, yes, what Lauren's saying, thank you all so much. I am so honored I have enough people in our community to be able to host this Happy thing for Easter. you guys. Happy Easter from both Lauren and I to you all. I hope you have an amazing day tomorrow with your family and celebrating. And just, I am so thankful. I am so glad I have all of you guys to be able to do these things. I love hosting these things for you guys. I love narrating and putting these things together and making these tournaments. We did Luck for a Buck last month and now the AI battle coming back. I'm so happy to have you all. And I'm honored that I am one of the leaders here and that all of you guys are my friends. It's honestly incredible to see how far we've come. Anyway, I want to say have a great night or day, depending on where you live. And I will talk to you not next week, sadly, but on Monday, April 8th. Until then, I'll see you later.